So this is a diffraction grating. Um, it says that the screen is a distance L and the grating has a total number of N lines. Okay. Any two adjacent lines are a distance D apart. Okay. So all of this is inside the grating, by the way. So imagine your diffraction grating. This is a side view. I'm going to draw the front view. So there is many, 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 many lines. N lines. And then if I zoom in and look at this, I will have two lines like that. Okay. And then the gap or the separation between the lines is D. Okay, uh, I zoom in, uh, zoom, zoom in, <laughs> zoom in, I get like that. Okay, but all of this is at the grating. A grating is basically a piece of glass or a transparent material. We scratch many, many lines that are very, very close together. All right, so which quantities affect the distance between the first order diffraction maximas on the screen? So the distance between the first order maxima, so this, this one is n equal to 0, right? Right in the center. So here is n equal to 1. This one is n equal to 1. Doesn't separate the distance between, let's say, here to here. What should I call it? I shall call it y. OK. So if it affects the distance, it's a check mark. If it doesn't affect the distance, it's a cross. I need equation. If I see diffraction grating, there's one and only one equation. D sine theta is equal to n lambda. But we know it's first order n equal to 1. So I'll quickly substitute for easier brain accessibility. D sine theta is lambda. Where is theta? Angle measured from your zero order. In other words, if I want, if I change theta, you know, if let's say, for example, I make theta bigger, then the first order is further, then the distance of y, because, you know, if theta bigger up there, theta will also be bigger down here, then your y is longer. See? So I'll just make a note here. If theta increase, y would increase. So the distance between the first order diffraction maximum, I call it y. So obviously, probably theta should not increase. Okay, let's see. I want to rearrange my equation. Sine theta will be equal to lambda over d. So obviously, lambda will affect and D will affect. So I can cancel C and D. Okay. Oh. So now I have A and B. Hmm. Would the length L change the distance? Okay. L is here to here. Hmm. If you think about this L, you may say, teacher, L is not in the equation, so it will not affect Wait first, another equation to think about theta is to consider this triangle. Okay, let me try to very nicely shade in the triangle for you. See this triangle here? You see this triangle? Okay, it's a bit hard to see L, so I'm going to delete the blue lines. So you don't have to look at the blue Y. But if I look at this triangle, I can say that this thing is 90 degree. So from here, I can say that tangent theta is the distance y over 2, because it's half, right, divided by L. Oh. Oh. So tangent theta is y over 2L, meaning when L if L increase, meaning you bring the screen further away, theta will increase because tangent theta will increase. Oh, if theta increase, what happens to Y? Y would increase. 
or use logic. If you use a projector screen before, the further away you push the projector screen from the projector, the bigger the image will be. So if you go to like big, big auditoriums, right, do they put the projector right in front on the table? They don't. They put it at the back, you know, toward the audience, very far away. So you get big image, logic, or use equation, okay? Because this is the triangle that I'm talking about, the one that I shaded as blue. This is theta. This is y over 2, and this is l. Okay, so L is also affecting it, so the answer is A. The next question will be to ask yourself, why does N doesn't affect the uh, experiment? Well, it says here that the grating has a total number of lines, right? So the total number of lines, maybe I cut I have less lines because it's unclear. I could have less lines because I have a different grating or I could have less lines because I, uh, I just cut the slide into half. Line. You know, budget are budget, no budget. So we cut the slide into half. <laughs> the gap is still the same. Okay, so for this one, it is basically unclear whether it will affect D or the separation of lines. Clear if it will affect line separation D. So as usual in objective, we choose the best answer. It may not be the most accurate one, but it is the best one. Because the other things don't really affect. I mean, the other things do directly affect the value of Y. Okay, push the screen backwards, change lambda, change D. Okay, that's it for this question.